Excel's take function, the H stack. What am I talking about? Newer tools within Excel, but we're handcuffed. How do we get rid of the handcuffs? What do I mean by the handcuffs? I'm using Excel 2021, no output. How do I go about getting the results without spending a dime? Well, I'll show you. Ready? Let's go. Brad Williams, Excel primed. Combine all columns and only rows one and two in a new list. And show only columns one through five in rows one and two in a new list. We're going to look at months and visitor growth. We have a layout a little bit different. Notice we generally focus on our columns, usually looking at left and right. And our data is typically laid out in column format. Here we have it in row format. We're just taking what we did in our previous tutorial and reversing it. We have everything across spreadsheet here. We're going to take that information using eight stack and do it horizontally, a horizontal, and we're going to use the row functionality and our arrays. We're going to do the exact same thing in the second example, but we're going to just cut things off based on whatever parameters we set. In this case, it'll be columns. We're taking our array, which will be C4 to E6, which is this data here in this Lego block, if you will. And then our second block, and then our third block. Because we're stating we only want rows one and two, we're gonna get month and visitors. Our second example, show only columns one through five and rows one and two. Columns one through five. How many columns are there in this example? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's seven columns. We're not counting month, visitors, or visitor growth. We're counting the data. That in mind, it's all driven off of whatever our array, whatever we put into our arrays, C4 to E6, H4, I6, L4 to M6. And we could put the headers, we could put all this information there, but it would look really ugly. It'd be duplicates, or we could configure it way over here in column B, and we could put this, we could put this particular formula in column B15 and address this first array. You don't only want to do it once. Otherwise, you're going to have a mess here because month visitor, visitor growth would show up as a specific column. We don't want that. Just identifying our specific columns and then we're counting. So here, CDE would be columns one, two, three. H would be four, I five, L six, M seven. We're having the first five, we have January, February, March, April, May. That are our output, January, February, March, April, May. And our data, it should support whatever instructions we incorporated. And that should be centered. And for whatever reason, who knows why, but that won't center up. And we'll just point your finger at Excel 365, where it's moodiness. Over here is our anatomy. Take a look at it. We've done this, probably our seventh example. The array, straightforward. The layout, straightforward. Instructions, straightforward. The narrative, even more straightforward. Brad Williams, Excel Prime. Be sure to check out all of our Excel courses. Excel Essentials. This is for individuals new to Excel. We have an advanced, excellent beginners, level one and level two, an intermediate level course. Excel formulas, formulas only. We have a beginner, an advanced, and an intermediate level course. Click on any of the links. There's a short video that explains everything about the course. Check it out. Mousetrap I'm talking about to use these tools is Excel and Microsoft are going to force us to use their 365 version. Now there's a free online version, but it's limited. So eventually you're going to end up having to pay Microsoft.